Hello writers, in this episode I am going to tell you four basic pointers to consider as you write dialogues for your characters in your next project. I am Sab John Irathattil, professional screenwriter and your personal story coach. The first point is to consider absence of dialogue which will lead you to great dialogues. What do you mean by absence of dialogues? Let's look at action speaks louder than the dialogues. Movie actually is a visual medium and in this case mostly actions take a larger role than dialogues. So let us say the dialogues are not overpowering the actions. Let's consider an example here. Suppose if I am angry and I am just exploding out of my anger, I just don't tell anyone that I am angry. I just don't tell anyone that I am sad, I am so sad and sorrowful that I am crying. I just cry. I just roll out tears from my eyes. I look sadly at others. So these expressions actually communicate more than any words for that matter. So basically when you look at action as a larger ingredient to your scene and characters then to support those actions or to replace certain actions with dialogue is what you should consider as a better option so again i tell you when you look at the absence of dialogue it will get you a thinking pattern to look at more towards dialogue because dialogue can also be replaced by action Well, so many people ask me, what is the secret to a great dialogue in your screenplay? Actually, there is no such secret per se. Why I say this is every screenplay demands a new perspective to actions and dialogues. It depends on your story. It depends on your character. Sometimes if you need to narrate your story a lot better than the character, then perhaps there can be lesser dialogues and more of narrative to that world. Suppose the other way around if the character needs a lot of revelation perhaps the actions and the dialogue will have to be more supportive to that expositions so it depends from story to story and screenplay to screenplay how you are going to use your dialogue it depends on the number of characters that you have the differences of characters and how they speak will have a lot of bearing on certain things sometimes it can be a silent movie per se suppose you are talking about a long movie with a longer action sequences dialogues will naturally be lesser and there are certain directors who have great affinity to dialogue and certain other directors and storytellers will have action as their priority so many factors consider the length and the quality of dialogue the greatness of the so called greatness of dialogue but it depends on a personal choice the writer makes depending on the story that he or she is going to tell the most crucial point for a writer is this element who is speaking the dialogue this is a great question one has to ask yourself it's not that i as a writer is speaking of course i am but for someone else so we need to know which character is speaking the dialogue or which character for which i am speaking for if you don't know the character you can't write the dialogue so we need to know the entirety of the character before you go writing the dialogue so once you know the character then you define the design of that dialogue it is more like a design you know whether he is talking in terms of short words or the slang or old fashioned his intonation is this much or he talks in a special way with a lot of gaps maybe he talks very long and rhetorical all these are your choices once you come to know about the character so the basic question is who are you talking for who speaks what you write these are the pointers that one has to consider for this we need to know a lot about that character we need to take a lot of research on that character perhaps you have seen that character before you are you are replicating someone who you have seen so this decision is crucial to write what you have to for the character to speak you look tired once a day once a rest well in the month from now this 
Hollywood big shot's gonna give you what you want. It's too late. They start shooting in a week. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. Another important point is to consider the actor speaking for your character. The writer writes the dialogue for an actor to speak for the character. This actually is the process. So when you consume and consider a character completely as a writer, then you write dialogues. Someone is going to say that out or someone is going to speak that out. And that someone has to actually speak it out correctly well. Sometimes these two may not gel well. What you write for the character, the actor may not speak or cannot speak the way you conceive. So naturally, for the easiness of implementing the dialogue or executing the dialogue, you may have to take necessary changes for the actor to take it completely so that he can bring out the essence of what you say at his convenience and easiness as an actor. So this combination is highly required as you write dialogues. And this is very crucial too for your project. So please consider, write the dialogue, speak it aloud so that you yourself can speak it well, and then give it to an actor who can also speak aloud and consider what you speak and what he speaks gel well. <laughs> தமிழ் படங்களை எங்க மரல் வச்சுக்கிட்டு மியூசியம் முறுக்கிக்கிட்டு லுங்கி கட்டிக்கிட்டு நம்பி யாரு ஏ கபாலு அப்படின்னு சொன்ன உடனே குனிஞ்சி சொல்லுங்க ஏஜுமா அப்படி வந்து நிப்பானே அந்த மாதிரி To summarize what I have told you about writing dialogues, the first is to consider your choice between action and dialogue. What is more important is a choice that you need to make. The second point is There are no great rules or secrets to write great dialogues. It depends on the story that you have, the characters uh, who you develop, all these are considered. There is no big secret about it. Third is, you are actually writing dialogues for your characters. And for that, you need to know them very well before you start writing about their dialogues. And the fourth one is, when you write dialogues for your character, there is an actor who is going to portray and render those dialogues, tell those dialogues out. So these four points has to be well married and, and conceived as you write dialogues for your next script. If you find the time you have spent here helpful, please share and like this video. I'll see you again with my next episode soon.